Hello, my name is Naomi. I'm one of the paediatric uh, physiotherapists that works as part of the cystic fibrosis team. Hi, I'm Claire. I'm also a paediatric physio and I work with the cystic fibrosis team. So today we're going to have a little look at an airway clearance device called the Acapella. So the Acapella is a device that helps to mobilise secretions from the airways um, and also creates a positive pressure within the chest that helps to open up the airways and mobilise them for more um, distal points more centrally so that when you huff and you cough you can clear your secretions out more effectively. The acapella is something that you can only do when you're able to blow and breathe out through a mouthpiece so if you're a baby then this wouldn't be a possibility to use because you need to have a good seal around the mouthpiece. So there's four parts to the acapella so we have the mouthpiece part, we have the shell that sits on the top and then we have the central rocker, so as you blow through the acapella, this moves up and down and will oscillate. And then there is the main body, which this sits into. On the very end of the acapella, there are different um, numbers, so one to five, one being easiest and five being the hardest. There isn't a way of measuring um, which size you should be on, but we can usually tell from how it feels and how it sounds, which is the most appropriate um, number for it to be on for you. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this back together and then I'm going to let you have a try and using this and see how it feels. The only um, time that we don't necessarily use an acapella over other airway clearance devices is if you've got quite irritable airways. Um, so sometimes people with asthma or irritable airways find that the oscillation actually irritates their airways too much and they don't tolerate it very well and it can make them cough quite a lot. So it's something that you'd need to discuss with your physiotherapist to see whether this is the right choice of airway clearance um, technique for you. Right then, so if you want to have a hold, so what I want you to have a go at doing is popping the mouthpiece into your mouth, creating a good seal so that there's no air that can leak out. Breathe in through the acapella and then take a nice prolonged breath out. So keep blowing, keep blowing, keep blowing, keep blowing, keep blowing and relax. How does that feel? It feels very strange. Okay, it's strange in what way? Um, just the wobble, it feels like I can feel it right here. Okay. That's good. So the wobble obviously helps to move any of the secretions along the airways. Um, you've got a really good technique with that. You're keeping a good seal in your mouth and you're blowing out nice and long and you can hear that it makes a bit of a funny noise. So for some younger children, they quite like this choice of airway clearance device because it makes a funny noise and it's a bit more fun than other airway clearance techniques. But it's very dependent on the patient um, and how they are clinically as to which choice we use. So. What I'd like you to have a go at doing is doing 10 breaths. So if you pop it in your mouth, again, sitting nice and upright, shoulders right down and relax, breathe in through the acapella, and then take a nice prolonged breath out. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, and relax. Now this is perfect. You've got your cheeks nice and straight. So sometimes, because it does oscillate, you can make your cheeks wobble a little bit and you can just scoop all the air into your mouth. So we want to make sure that we're breathing right from the very bottom of our diaphragm so that you're doing, um, you're clearing all the way down through the lungs. So that was really good. So you have another go. Breathe in and then breathe all the way out. That's it. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going and relax. Okay, if we just do a few more of those. Brilliant. Two more for me. So what we would normally do is get you to do the breaths in cycles. So if you're just starting this off for the first time, then it might be that we just dictate how many cycles you do to how it feels for you whilst you're getting used to using the acapella. But ultimately, we want to be building that up into 10 breaths. And that is 10 breaths as part of one cycle, and then repeating those cycles so that we're clearing out the lungs. So once you've done uh, 10 breaths, what we would normally actually do is do a huff and a cough. So if you can for me, take a nice breath in. I want you to keep the back of your throat open and and try and pretend like you're steaming up a piece of glass and do a <laughs> <laughs> perfect. Now that huff technique just may, helps to move the secretions a little bit higher up so that your cough is more effective. So if you pop your hand over your mouth, have a nice big strong cough. <coughs> Brilliant. Anything there to clear at all? Not at the moment. No. And sometimes there isn't always secretions that are coming up to the back of the throat to clear. Sometimes we just want to make sure we're keeping the airways open. So some people are more productive than others um, and that is perfectly normal. We don't all have lots of secretions to clear. Um, but that would be classed as one cycle. Now, how often do you think you should be using your acapella? Once a 
today? Yeah, brilliant. So I think when you're well, once a day is, is adequate. Um, when you become poorly, so if you had a cough or a cold, then we'd need to look at increasing the amount of treatment that you're doing, so moving it to doing it twice a day. Um, but again, all of this would be in discussion with your physiotherapist that you see in clinic. So the amount of cycles you do and how frequently you need to be doing it would di be dictated on how well you are and how you are presenting sort of clinically. So that is a very rough guide is that when you're well, you have a treatment regime, but if you become unwell, you increase the amount of treatment that you're doing. Okay? Good. Any other questions that you have about your acapella? Do I have to sit up when I do it? No, not always. Um, so it can be done in other um, positions as well. Ideally, we don't want you to be doing it lying flat on your back, but you could do it lying on your side um, and sort of or in sort of a, a sort of a more upright, crooked position, not lying on your side. Um, you will find with the acapella, you can actually do it blowing it upside down as well. So if you have a go in that position, it will still work. So if uh, you're a parent and your child is tipping it upside down, that doesn't matter, it still works just as effectively, so don't be concerned um, that they're not doing it correctly. Obviously, we would normally teach it to be done this way up, but it can be done the other way as well, and it can be done in different positions. We ideally say don't do it lying down, just because if you're lying down, it's not as easy to clear your chest out, it's not as easy, you can't take as big a breath um, when you're doing your huffing and your coughing as well, but lying on your side would be fine to do as well. All right, any other questions? I think that's it, thank you. Brilliant.